went to Hyde. He came to uh, a particular department and even tax project him to strike a partnership for our upcoming project in Agro Agro Initiative um, project. So here is my team, heavily represented. And um, we've been able to <laughs> We have been able to talk with the, um, the team of the IIT team that we met here and um, it was a good um, innovation, it was a good um, partnership and a, cut, a good cut series. We, had, we, we struck the balance, I mean, we struck the partnership deal with them and we look forward to having a great time with um, the Ripple High and the Enable Tax um, team, project team for IIT. What they do is they enable you to navigate business in, um, uh, for people all across Africa. So we. Knowing that our Go Ago Initiative partners with that, we're looking forward to uh, being a partner with them in driving our goals and initiatives. Thank you. So, yeah, even when we want to do community development, with the little fund that we have, we want to maximize it. And we also believe we are IT to not for profit, it will be good to partner with you and to supply us the, the trainers, the Partners as one of our partners who so give us the trainers that are part of the training, then having access to some of these improved varieties. Yes, we because if we are telling you to go into farming now, everybody is afraid of climate change, people still depend on great failure and project story. And it says yeah, IIT have gone a long way to come up with improved variety of some of these crops. In fact, iron based um based base things. We know the product of beans for children and the mother, so I when it comes to beans, we can have iron based beans. You know, some of these excellent beans is nutrition based. So we believe people have our right access to quality food. Then in the, our hospital will relieve them or so many um, hours of visiting the, the doctors. So we want to partner in that direction, giving us access to improve rates of some, some of these crops, scientists and trainers that will help facilitate the program. So we have a program. Um, we call it um, Archa Pigwabo. Another platform we also want to be, to be part of is um, we have a, you know, we look at it and our own way. I, I, I learned better from this presentation this year of Agri Park, Agri Business Park. Very good. Because most of the time when we go to communities, we want to help the family. They are scattered all over. Then it becomes difficult. Because what you give to this person, instead of maximizing for 10 people, only one person will have access to it. But if they are in cluster, if they are in strategic location, it becomes accessible, it becomes more, more, more uh, it becomes uh, efficient when you want to do community development program. Even at Chinese organization, when people are going to get donors, when they fund project and stuff, we have to make that, we, we call it seed grant. That small grant that we draw, we believe is a seed grant, so we have to really maximize any money, any amount, any dollar, that is, any plan that is being put into any, any project. So when this is our coming, our coming project, and one of the main objectives, like I said, is to increase the involvement of youth in agriculture because we have seen the need that let change their reputation, let them know and do the work, but they need help. So many people that are outside there, they want to do it. I, in fact, I had a friend, she gave the foundation to go to work. It was so quite unfortunate they got the foundation stuff from one bad, um, uh, what is actually. The hair has never been, that is not been good, and so many other factors around it. Because even when we are employing them, we need to provide them the necessary trainings, everything that they need. So that is our own approach. Okay, we say going to put production, we connect with the, the right capacity, we give you the right fit formulation, we give you the that's that's our own, that's our own platform, that's our own um, strategy. Then another another aspect, this uh, we have a target to give an award. So we are, the organization will be fifth, uh, we celebrate the fifth year anniversary. So we have a plan. And one of the plans in promotion with that anniversary is to give an award to youth participation and promotion. So we, we, are, we, want to, we are coming up with that so that when people are applying for it, for any, any, um, any money put into it, we are going to be very sure to agree. So we want to partner with us as far as that program is concerned. Then the conversation with the expert is going to shed more light on. That particular program. So, so many, so many other ways. And our program is not limited to Nigeria. We were able to, the Bible office is championing this particular meeting of making an for our own. Then we have the, 
instead of replicating other African countries, we are able to do it successfully in Nigeria. Yeah, they want to replicate in other African countries. We are, you know, we can't do it alone. You know. Like I have said, we, we, you have the capacity, you have the material scientists, you have um, the, the um, people of, um, that have really done a lot in, in improving agriculture with participation. So she will share the more light on our program and you know, um, then we want to do more things to get with that. All right, thank you. Yeah, I really like um, what the Emmanuel of talked about, and uh, I was going to have to what I didn't guess that uh, in the area of partnerships, we like to do new modalities. Like, we have plants like here, here in the to train roots, and we know that IITA cannot do it either. So, we're looking at how we can partner with support to train it. What are the modalities that are involved in you in partnering with you? As she has said, here in the so we like to know the modalities involved so that we can have. Expertise on board for us as, as we grow as an organization. And then for the second part she mentioned, uh, our youth um, project coming up. We're looking at uh, increasing youth involvement in agriculture in our state. And um, one of the ways strategically that we plan to do that is by uh, creating an award. Like we need monetary award, but not just monetary award, we need um, mentorship and um, like coaching after the whole process. So what we're looking at is that um, we are going to um, call for applications from both two sectors, like two categories of people. We're going to call for, for people that are already involved in agriculture but as startups and those that have ideas. So we're going to look at ideas but and empower to do things. So we're looking at um, empowering these two categories of people. And um, what one of the major things that will still be involved because we just don't want to give money to people. Money is as good as nothing without the capacity to do something with it. Yeah, so we are looking at how we can really train people. And you know, while it was working, what was my mind is how can we partner with you in building capacities for people? Or do you do it only for IT? Can you partner with other organizations to, to build capacities for youth involvement in agriculture? So that's that's one major area we'd like to hear feedback from you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, um, well, for me, I will start by asking questions. Fine, you have good problems, but um, I, I want to ask questions. Okay, I'm looking at, now you've mentioned two programs. Well, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, you're looking at, Building capacities of youth that are involved in my culture, we're looking at giving awards to, to selected youth at my college. So now, if you're looking at uh, selecting youth, building capacity, what is the end goal? Is it just building or for them to start business? From experience, uh, from experience, I can tell you that the, the, we have a good percentage of youths that have benefited from one training or the other, but they are not able to start something after the training. Well, you will find in a class those that are attending the business training for the first time. But I'm sure that in that same class, you will find those that have attended up to four, mm -hmm. five, six students. And they are not able to do so. So, I'm just looking at training them, or if you're looking at how they will start business at the end of the training. So, so, before you can look at building capacities at all, what is the end goal? Is it just the training? Or, or how do you start business? Okay, so to answer that question, of course, the end goal of training is not just for training. We know that that's a big problem already. So we don't want to contribute to the existing pool of problems. What we're looking at, the reason for the award is for um, like empowerment. The reason for the award is something like startup for businesses or for businesses that are running the existence so that we can boost their production. 
So that's the reason for the award. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? So it's not just to uh, train people, but to ensure that there is a business that something is started. Okay, it's yeah. getting more complicated. Okay. Now, I Now, the part of giving award, the way it is occurring to me, the way I'm thinking about it, I stand to the point, is okay, you uh, make a plan, draw up a process of selection, you select to give award. Now, if you are giving award, it's going to be for, if it is award in the sense of it, the way I understand, it's going to be for few people. First prize, second prize, third prize, in most cases I had of third prize. <laughs> so, so that way we're still looking at the number of people. So, so we see that you're looking at, okay, I, I don't understand. Okay, so, so let, let me shed light to that. Out of the groups of people that we are finding, there are only few people that we get to be forced, um, like, like you mentioned. But we know that there are, there's going to be a lot of applications that will, that's going to stand out. So we're looking at collecting a pool of people, of youth in that category. And that, those are the people that we can target for the training and, and um, establishment. Okay now, okay now, maybe the approach is when they, it's going to be a kind of a, a competition career, kind of, and when you select those that are worthy to receive the award, yes. so from the applicants generally, yeah. you pick some other set of people. Exactly, the, the reason for that is to ensure that we're not just going for people that are ready. We want people that it's ready that we know that they are really interested in this. Do you understand? So we just don't want to throw out a general application okay. and it's for people that maybe we just don't want to attend another training. Okay. Yeah, so that's so okay. So now let's get into it. <laughs> so when the selection is done, yeah. Building their capacities, what are we for? Establishment. Huh. Do you have the plan to finance them to establish? Do you have the plan to give them funds? Or if you are saying establishment, I will tell you that we have millions of youth that have been trained. When you ask them questions, in fact, they are trained. <laughs> but they are incapacitated. They end up picking these 15,000 naira, 10,000 naira jobs on who? If what? Because they can't help. Let me call from that. Do you understand? Yes, let me call me from that. From our organization, a part of our plan. Because we are just launching the huge gap of projects in our state. And part of our plan is we are acquiring land. Like I said, we believe they are, they are uh, better and going to be there together. We do this, um, like one of the oldest cities by Enipotat, uh, like Abinia and Nagi Park in our way. So we also have been, they have that kind of thing too. That that, that farm, everyone that we train, we come and invent in training. Then as an organization, we, our, our intention is we give you everything that you need. All you need is come and invent what you have to train on. So that's why we say we need expertise from you. Now, even when we, after the training, we need to be monitored, all those monitoring will be done by our organization. But that particular farm is where they will do, they will, they will carry out their agreed uh, program, not doing it on their farm. So because if you leave them to do it on their farm, you, some of them will end up doing nothing. So we have that, we, we are putting that plan in place to on one community, um, along the road. Um, to go to go town where we have um, a, a, a big farm so that every trade youth, those that are ready that are willing, they give we are not um, close to you, then you, you do your, your activities. But you. now, like I said, the, the access to the varieties, access to um, facilitators, we want to partner with IT in that plan because we are limited when it comes to our community. But we have a passion to combat the 
business. 